Yeah, yeah. Any updates for the uh, Everybody practiced. We didn't do anything uh, contact-wise, uh, but Patrick and Zaza practiced. Steph didn't, obviously. Uh, everybody, meaning the guys who are, were questionable. And uh, we'll see tomorrow how everything goes. But I'm going to be careful, obviously. I'll always be careful with a concussion, uh, Chris. Uh, patient, but um, like Zaza, you know, we brought him back and the shoulder was re-aggravated. I mean, I'm looking at, at the schedule, two games in the next week, so um, you know, we're, we got to be very careful. He could still play tomorrow if, if Chelsea says there's no problem at all, but if there's any problem, I won't play him. So is, is McCaw technically out of concussion protocol? Right now, I don't know. Raymond, is Patrick out of concussion protocol? So Patrick went through practice today. It was the last step, but he has to be Approved now by the doctors tomorrow pregame. So if everything went okay today, I mean, he gets blessed tomorrow night at the game. He can be tweeting. Such bullshit. <laughs> you think anybody's gonna go? Oh my God, Kareth got it out before I did. <laughs> <laughs> Will that happen? Because in my dress it does. That's the same thing. <laughs> it does. <laughs> You got it out? I got it out. Good, good. <laughs> How about Steph? How many I likes think? do you have so far on it? <laughs> not enough. Not yet, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're carried away now. Sorry. <laughs> How about Steph? Any updates with him? How's He's he doing fine, out? but no you know, no work on the court or anything. Just getting treatment. And seems to be doing well. When you look at the schedule now, I think you said two games in the next week. Is that two games in eight, eight days or nine days? What does that feel like to be uh, it feels good. We haven't had real practice time in a while, so I think we're going to use this next week to really lock in on our details of our execution offensively and defensively. So we had a good practice today. It wasn't long, but it was sharp, and we need a lot of sharpness over the next week to clean up some things, but I like the position we're in. Does a road trip like that promote a lot of bonding? Like, what does it do for a team and for guys? Um, more than anything, it just gives guys uh, the chance to be with their families. And um, you're talking about being at home for a stretch. Is no, that... a road trip like oh, that. Oh, the road trip. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. Bonding. Yeah, the road trip's nothing but bonding. That's <laughs> that's all we do is hang out. So uh, it's great to, to make it through. Um, obviously, going six and zero, oh, but to spend a lot of time together and, and make it through in the manner that we did. Um, feel like it's put us in a great position going forward. Do you feel like in a way it's easier to be a little bit sharper or more focused when you're on the road? No. Uh, I feel like it's easier. It, it, what, what being on the road does is it, it, it puts a little fear in you. So you, you tend to play with more urgency. So from that perspective, um, there's some sharpness that comes through. But that's more of a competitive thing. I think in terms of detail and execution-wise, it's better to be at home when you can actually have real practice time. Do you want these practices to be like this week? Do you want that sort of intensity, almost harder than a game practices? Or do you just um, keep it steady? Kind of keep the again, again, attention to detail. We're not going to scrimmage, you know, probably more than likely. Maybe we might a little bit later in the week, but um, might have one scrimmage day. So more than anything, it's attention to detail uh, with with what we're trying to execute on the floor and. and um, so we've got to, our guys have to understand what we're trying to accomplish. So we got to get that across as coaches. After what he's admitted wasn't necessarily the greatest start to the season, how have you felt about Draymond's intensity level the past few weeks? Have you felt like I it's, thought, it's consistent? Yeah, I think Draymond's season um, changed um, after about five, six games, maybe seven games. We were in uh, L.A. We played the Clippers. From that point on, I think... Uh, He's been much more under control and um, locked in. I thought the first seven games he was a little scattered emotionally. I thought he was too emotional. I think the last uh, 15 games or so, he's been great in terms of composing himself. But over this last road trip, to me, that's when he really sort of put it all together with the intensity defensively uh, and the composure. And to me right now, he's... He's exactly where he needs to be. Was that, was that game in Detroit his best game of the season in your, in your Defensively, for sure. You know, he was brilliant. Um, offensively, he was he was very good. I mean, 13 assists and uh, distributing the ball. Uh, but defensively, he was an absolute monster. Um, you know, and it, given what you do, have to do to guard Detroit, um, you have to blow up the, all the 
DHO stuff on the perimeter and then still protect the rim with Drummond diving. It's a really hard team to guard. Uh, Draymond's, that's what he does. And uh, he was phenomenal, phenomenal. So was KD. Did it almost remind you of that Memphis game last year where you had the triple-double without... Yeah, yeah. That was similar. That was probably the best game I've ever seen him play, that game in Memphis. Uh, he wasn't perfect in Detroit. He had some uh, interesting points where he either shot or he didn't shoot. Um, and he knows that. He you know, took one that he shouldn't have, passed up two that he should have. Um, so he was a little indecisive with his shot because he wasn't feeling it there. Besides that, he was, he was perfect. What do you do with the schedule now with all these days off? Do you plan to practice a lot, or are you still going to give him times completely off? We haven't figured it out. probably depends on how we look uh, tomorrow. Um, I would guess uh, we'll either have Tuesday or Friday off, um, but we won't make that decision until after, after tomorrow night's game. In a sense, do you have to worry about only playing two games in nine days? Like. Is there a chance that the guys like lose well, I can't have it both ways. I've been complaining about a lack of practice time. So now if I complain about losing our rhythm, then uh, can't have it both ways. This is a good part of the schedule, and um, we should take advantage of it. And um, I'm not going to make any excuses beyond that. Have you looked at it any time, either at the start of the season or maybe more recently, saying once we get to mid-December, once we get past that long road trip, then it's going to be a chance to... Yeah, yeah, we did that. Like, I think you look at the schedule every year. You think if we can get through this stretch in a good position, then we'll be in great shape. And it's definitely how we looked at this stretch that we've just been through. And uh, But we have to take advantage of it now for, for it to mean anything. What have you thought of the defense over the last you know, six games or so? I know the defensive break has been really good. But what, is it where you want to be, where you want it to be, uh, or on the way to that? The last two in particular have been um, brilliant. I didn't think we were horrible defensively against the Lakers. We weren't that good against Orlando. Uh, and uh, nor were we very good against New Orleans. So I'm not going to say because we went 6-0, and we were great on defense in all six games. Uh, I thought we were great for three games defensively, Miami, Charlotte, Detroit. It, it, it encourages me, though, that the last two games without Steph um, that we played such good defense because I think there's an awareness from our guys that we have no choice without Steph but to play great defense to give ourselves the best chance to win. What does it say? Well, you guys are leading the NBA in blocks right now, too. That's got to be more than just having a lot of that team. Uh, yeah, it's both. It's an awareness. Um, of um, where and how to help, and it's having that length and athleticism that guys like Javel and, and uh, KD and, and Draymond bring. But uh, a lot of other guys are getting blocks too. You know, on the perimeter, you got Sean and Andre with their length and anticipation. David West gets a lot of blocks, um, even though he doesn't jump very high. Uh, but we have a we have a smart, um, athletic defensive team, and it shows in the block shots category. What does it say about Kevin to step out the way he's sort of like taken over, not only offensively but defensively as well? Just like it says he's an MVP in this league and one of the best players in the world, and that he has an awareness of what's needed at what time. Uh, last two games, uh, it's been just amazing. I mean, and we kind of expected it because we take him for granted a little bit, uh, but he has been absolutely brilliant. I do, or he does? You, you do. I do. Um, is, is part of that, or what part of that is due to the logistics of the schedule? We have two hours. Well, I, don't, I mean, we don't expect him back over the next nine days anyways, but it's just nice that um, we're not, he's not missing a ton of games. You know, if, if this had come in a stretch where we had, you know, six games in nine days, um, obviously that would have been a, Low. So it helps. I don't know when he's going to be back, but I know that it's nice that we're not playing that many games while he's going through this. All right. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.